What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Time for another TT and return. Went to the mailbox to put a few in this morning and I got two return to us. So it looks like we got uh, a newer one I sent out for um, from Halloween time and some maybe before that. So let's get ripping. See how we do. How's everyone doing today? All right, all right, all right. Let's see. This first one's coming out of Metroplex, Michigan, huh? All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we open it here. here. Kind of thick here, guys. Kind of thick. It looks like this is... I'm starting to wise up, like I said in my past videos. I'm trying to send more than just my 89 Fleer. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I get obsessed with just those cards, but I have a lot more other cards. What do we got here? Oh, okay. It looks like Frank... Tanana, Tana, Tanana, Tanana, and of course we got a 90, 80, a 1989 Fleer, some blue ink on that, give us a little Bible verse, 336, so nice, thank you Mr. Frank Tanana, looks like we got it on 89 tops, a little faded there a little bit, got it on our bright yellow 91 Fleer, and then he get, he put in his own little uh, let's see the gold dot com Frank Tanana he put a John fourteen six and it looks like he's talking about his faith a little bit which is really cool so awesome return on that that's a four four success let's see if I can put this in here without it knocking everything over I sent uh, Mr Frank Tanana when did I send him off I wonder. I want to say I sent him off, um, wow, the second of this month, and it's the 17th, so what is that, about 15, <clears throat> 15 days or so, so that's the success on that, and he is a zero, re zero fee on that. All right, next one, let's see, make sure we have, I'm going to put this guy here, this can kind of stand up. All right, guys, coming on our next one. I'll put leave three up here. So it feels like there's at least three in here. Coming out of the San Diego, California. Man, this is thick. What is in here? It's thick all the way to the sides. I don't put anything on the sides. I better open it. I don't know if I can open it like this. There we go. What we got here? Who we got here? Oh, wow. Whoever this is put a nice, thick, thick thing to protect the cards. Oh, guys, you know who this is? The Chicken, Ted Giannolis. Before I pull these cards out, look at this autograph. You're not going to find a prettier signature or handwriter. This guy must have, this guy must have taken handwriting. Because let's see, I, I believe I sent him three cards. What does he got here? Oh, looks like he sent me a note and three cards. Let's see what the note says here. Oh my gosh, is that his handwriting? That is just ridiculous. Look at that, guys. That looks like a print. That is his handwriting. Dear Johnny, thank you for your kind note. Yes, no, uh, those nights at Greer Stadium were truly fun. Good luck, Ted Giannolis. On my note, I put, um, I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, and my dad used to take me to the Greer Stadium where the Nashville Sounds played. Um, and a couple times a year, the chicken would come and perform. And those were my favorite, favorite times. Some of the best times I had with my dad was at the ballpark. And, of course, the famous chicken. And let's see. Oh, guys, beautiful, beautiful blue ink on an 83 Don. Just look at his autograph. Look at that. Good gracious. That is just Eutimus. <laughs> and then I got another 83 Donners there. Put that. And then this card. Look at that. Mister, I don't know if you guys know about the chicken. He, I guess he started 1974. Um, he was just a huge baseball fan at San Diego. So he'd go into the Padres Stadium dressed up like the chicken. And they were letting him in for free. And then finally they hired him. I guess it was 1974. He was 20 years old. I read that he was a um, 
a journalist studium at the university, and he just wanted to get into the free games. Long story short, he was hired as the famous chicken. Actually, it was the San Diego chicken. Stuff happened. Uh, a lot of story with that. Then he became the famous chicken, but he did like 500 games a year, did probably over 5,000 uh, showings in his career. I think in 2019, I think he uh, hung up the chicken but man, what a nice man and a and and a uh, and a great great addition to uh, baseball. I think um, he was voted one of the top twenty uh, twenty most inf influential, uh, I guess, uh, sports figures, just because when it comes to mascots, he's the man. Anyways, guys, check out the review here. The review, the returns. We got one, two, three, four tanana and three chickens. Uh, you know I love my 89, but the chicken gets the wind. Not only because, look at his autograph, good gosh. Um, but I have great memories. Again, he'd come a couple, of, a couple times a year to Nashville, and we'd go see him. And he actually wrote a note, and he referenced, I didn't even put Greer Stadium. I just put Stadium growing up in Nashville, and he remembered Greer, which is really awesome. I'll keep this note with the autograph. Anyways, guys, uh, tell me what you like. Tell me what you thought. If you've got the chicken yet, if not, he is a quick return. When did I send him out? I think uh, I sent him out the 5th, came back the 17th. That's 12 days, guys. So get your chicken in the mail. Johnny out.